Here's an easy way to win more points when your opponent attacks the net in singles. Now, first, this video is courtesy of Court Level Tennis on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I've put their link in the description below. All right, we've got Yannick Sinner. This is Emil Ruzovari. Let's watch this short point, and then we'll diagram it. Now, this is a very relatable situation. We've all been playing singles, and the opponent comes to the net. Now, I have a question for you. As the viewer, when your opponent is coming in, what do you try? And it's usually one of three answers that I get from my students. They either say, I go for a cross-court pass, or I go for a down-the-line pass, or they'll say that they go for a lob, and they try to lob it up over the opponent. But all three of those, what they're really saying is they're trying to avoid their opponent. Guess what? The chances of winning the point actually increase if you involve your opponent in the point rather than avoid them. Just hit the ball right on their body. And we can see right here from Yannick, ball comes on his body and he dumps it in the net. Now, I will say this too. I want you to watch Ruzavari. He's not recovering laterally behind the baseline. He's actually moving forward because if Sinner makes this volley, he wants to move in. Ruzavari wants to move in and cut it off at a perpendicular you know, relationship to the path of that ball, which is actually the shortest distance to that ball. So you can see Ruzavari running in, he actually ends up near the baseline. You know, so it's important that when you do hit to your opponent, that you run thinking that they're going to hit into the open court, that you run in at an angle. I should do it like this. He should run in at an angle rather than running straight behind the baseline. But don't feel like you have to avoid your opponent. Your opponent most likely isn't split-stepping properly. They most likely don't want a ball right at them. And the chances of winning the point go up because instead of you having to hit the pass, they can just miss the volley. Now, if you love strategy as much as I do, then you need to pick up the Singles Playbook from Fuzzy Yellow Balls, over 50 pages of strategy after strategy on how to beat the opponents you're currently playing. Because the strategies are all broken down by the type of opponent you're playing. Pushers and counterpunchers, serve and volleyers, even lefties, southpaws. Let's say this coming Saturday, you have a match, an important match, and you're playing an aggressive baseliner. Uh, beating the aggressive baseliner, page 54. So. You scroll, because you're playing all the same people typically. So you know how these players play. You know if they're a servant volleyer or if they're a pusher. Beating the aggressive baseliner. Then you go to the first page. The serving strategies that you want to use. The returning strategies that you want to use. Right? It's not complicated. You just got to know what to do. Uh, rallying against these players. How to approach the net. The type of approach shots you want to hit against aggressive baseliners. It's all broken down in this book. You just know your opponent, you find the type of opponent you're playing against, and you can even watch a video of exactly how to deploy each strategy. Simply use my link in the description. I'm also gonna pin it in the first comment. You have got to get the singles playbook. Now, if you're looking for people in your local area, new people, maybe stronger competition to play matches against or practice with, singles and doubles, or if you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Player Court. And it's playercourt.com slash two minute tennis. It's in the same place, pinned in the first comment and in the description as the singles playbook. When you use my link for Player Court, you get 50% off. When your opponent comes to the net on you, think about this. When your opponent comes to the net on you, typically they're offensive and you're defensive. What we're talking about here are percentage chances of winning. So when you are defensive and maybe a little off balance, it's not in your best interest to go for an offensive shot. And typically avoiding your opponent coming in, doing everything you can to keep the ball away from them is offensive, typically. And where could you hit the ball to keep it away from them? You could, oops, you could hit the net. You could hit the ball out to the right. You could hit the ball out to the left. You could hit a lob over them and the ball lands just a little long, right? See, when you avoid your opponent, what you're often doing is avoiding the court, <laughs> right? And that's not a good thing. When your opponent comes to the net, you can just use what I call the two-shot passing shot strategy, where just hit the ball right on their body. You're not playing a pro tennis player. So don't in your mind all of a sudden think that there are Martina Navratilova or John McEnroe approaching on you. That's not who you're playing against. So the chances of winning the point when your opponent comes to the net in singles increases when you involve them in the point rather than avoid them. So hit the ball right on their body, 
right? If you want to keep it low, that's great. But if, even if you just kind of hit it around their chest, they're not going to like that. Then if you are pulled to one side, what I would recommend since most of your opponents are going to try to go into this corner if they do make it, don't recover parallel to the baseline. Recover moving in because if their ball does go over the net into the open court, because the 50% of the time they actually make the shot because half the time they're going to miss that volley, what you want to be able to do is move in at an angle to get to that ball. Now, when you are inside the baseline, there's no need to hit to your opponent now. Now the chances are in your favor if you avoid them. And what I would recommend, and we didn't see this because Sinner missed the shot, but I would recommend that most of your passing shots in singles go down the line because in my 25 years of coaching experience, I've realized nobody covers the down the line. They never stand far enough to actually cover the down the line. Too many of your opponents stand too much in the middle, which actually covers the cross court. So just watch how often the down the line singles passing shot works. But do that on the second shot, because when your opponent comes to the net, put the ball on them. Half the time they'll screw it up, the other half they hit weak, and then you put the ball down the line on them. You use this strategy of involving your opponent in the point when they approach the net in singles, and there's no doubt. You're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.